not has crude oil now biafra can go according to ipob the indigenous people of biafra ipob has said biafra can exit now as a sovereign state following the discovery of crude oil in the north ipob said this in a statement on friday adding that the discovery was an answer to the prayers of its leader Nam de Kano, who had prayed that the northern region should discover petroleum in commercial quantity to facilitate the Biafra exit. The self-determination group met this known according to the statement signed by its spokesperson, Emma Powerful. Recorder President Muhammad Buhari on Tuesday flagged off the commercial production of crude oil and gas from the $3 billion coal money integrated development project. The Kalmani project is located along the fields of Gombe and Baoshi with oil prospecting license 809 and 810 lying in the Gondola Basin of the Upper Benue Pro, joining the two northern states. While addressing the country at the event, Buhari said the Kalmani River field attracted $3 billion worth of investment. Reacting, IPOB said the northern region has been reluctant to let Biafra happen because it benefits from the proceeds of crude oil in the southeast, despite having solid minerals. The statement partly reads, Northern Nigeria has large deposits of many solid minerals, but because they test for oil, they are ready to do unimaginable things because of oil in Biafra land. Today, God Almighty has settled the contraption's age-long problem of unity occasioned by crude oil. Crude oil discovery in the north will for certain settle this first unity if indeed they are truthful in settling Nigeria's problem. Oil or no oil, Biafrans are not interested. All we need is a conducive environment to do our business without fear of terrorists at our borders. The discovery of over a billion barrels of crude oil in Gondola Basin is another important thing that has happened to the Northerners. It continued, the prophecy of Nnam Dekano has come through because he prayed in one of his radio Biafra brokers that God should give to the North oil so that Nigeria's problem will be solved once and for all. Now that every component part of Nigeria has oil, can we all go our separate ways and mind our own? Uh, you know, um, just like many have said, um, what is keeping Nigeria has been crude oil. It is not like uh, the constituent parts of Nigeria likes each other. No, not really. Um, this oil in the south is why a lot of people mainly the northerners wouldn't let nigeria that is not working split yes when the north attempted to split in 1967 after the counter coup okay what either 1966 or 67 when they attempted to split the araba declaration they, they, in fact they were the first people to talk about splitting uh, but due to they were warned that they they are going to lose that major economic activities are in the south the crude oil and the rest britain you know cunningly advised them to renege on that particular declaration and they had to quickly go one came up again on stage on his podium announced there is no such um, split that nigeria must remain one and um, Britain, who asked them to make sure they kept the country one, also gave them the support. That is why they met every attempt to stop Biafra leaving uh, the eastern region. Uh, Britain gave them every support. Because um, just like you already know, Britain taps, makes huge money from Nigerian oil, just like uh, France and Francophone African countries. So that is what happened. Oil has been the reason. Even the North themselves does not want the unity. They want to be on their own. But because 
they are thinking about the economic side of it. They are not ready to allow the South. Um, everybody must drink from the Southern um, oil. They, they not have several mineral deposits in their area. It, it was left unexplored, nothing, nothing. Everybody relies on the oil deposit in the South. And recently, certain explorations were made in northern lands and in the process Buhari really spent huge amount of uh, southern oil money the niger delta oil money and we thank god at the end of the day oil was discovered in commercial quantity in the north and sooner uh, the north will also become an oil producing um, region yeah um, Buhari's expedition paid off. That is it. So we are happy uh, to see that happen. And IPOB um, has always, through its leader, prayed that the North will have an oil discovery. So that um, this unnecessary bond that has been holding Nigeria, oil that has been, why they don't want others who are not of the same interest to split. So that finally everybody will join hands and say let's go our separate ways we are not the same and from the start from the march we are not the same our interests and values are very different so ipob is telling the north now you have discovered oil please let's part ways go in peace we, even we biafrans are not really about oil we can survive without oil uh, we are not um, splitting because we have oil, but because we don't want certain terrorist activities in our area. We don't want um, our lands to be taken. Our area, as in landmass, is the smallest. We don't want our cultures and um, tradition values to be swept away by invading forces. So we want to be on our own. Yes, we thank God for the discovery of oil in your area. Now we can have a chance to part ways. We will still be in good relationship, yes, as West African states. But we want to be free from this contraption. May the discovery of oil in huge deposits in commercial quantity speed up the process. That's what IPOB is saying. And what do you think? Add your comment on this. Still on crude oil discovery in the north. Wealth is coming soon. This is according to Chef Gumi. He says, as federal government makes first drilling in north. Nigerians across the northern region of the country have been urged to rejoice over the recently discovered crude oil in the Colmani Oil Prospecting Lease, OPL 809 and 810, at the Colmani Field site. The site, located in a border community between Gombe and Bauchi State, were inaugurated by President Muhammad Buhari on Tuesday, November 22. Speaking on the first drilling of oil from the sites, Sheikh Ahmed Gumi called on Nigerian northerners to be steadfast on the right path as wealth is coming to the north. In a post made on his personal Facebook page, the cleric said that the Sokoto River Basin will be next for oil exploration. His words, first oil in the north, be steadfast on the right path, wealth is coming soon by Allah's grace. Remain Sokoto River Basin Exploration, Insha Allah. Wow, many people from the northern part of the country are already rejoicing over this discovery. And sincerely, um, I will just say God is fair. God is treating, God is a fair God. As in, um, he's fair to everyone, irrespective of your religious affiliations irrespective of um they said his sunlight and clothing rain is for the good and the bad um there are several mineral deposits from what i see in nigeria there are many of them but it depends on the time each one is explored and found so uh, i believe nigeria 
every part of Nigeria has crude oil. Every region in Nigeria has crude oil. Uh, but it depends on who the people who are exploring and the time they arrive at one. And I pray the North will discover more crude oil. Yes. If this has been what has been keeping Nigeria against the will of the um, various um, regions and ethnicities, then it is time for it to help split peacefully. Can you imagine in the past, the northern groups will tell you uh, the, the money that was used to explore oil in the south came from the north. And uh, uh, for, for that reason, they are not going to leave the oil, that the oil belongs to everybody. That they, are, they don't want Nigeria to split. You know, the people who talks about Nigeria's unity so much is the North. They talk about it as if they cherish it. No, not really, but because of the oil. Because of the, the, the Niger Delta oil is so sweet. And you realize uh, due to the oil, a lot of um, activities that should go on in the North um, were kind of um, soft pedal. Everybody wants to drink from the Niger Delta oil. And I, what, I was reading an analyst's report on what could be, will be the next behavior of the North this time that oil has been found in commercial quantity. Um, they said um, many might leave farming, uh, just like you find in some part of Niger Delta, a lot of them are not ready to work. They prefer to uh, do oil bunkery. Um, after all, some are relaxing, saying, oh, crude oil is in my place. Why will I work? Why will I suffer? They will put um, sources referring to Libya and some other oil countries telling you, these people don't work, they enjoy. Um, according to this analysis, said even famine may begin to decline in the north because of this discovery. <laughs> Meanwhile, we want to say that we are so happy for this discovery. Uh, we are so happy, and we pray more oil field will be discovered. That Buhari's further expedition, though he is leaving off his soon, whoever takes office. Um, will um during his time discover more oil and i will quicken and a split if possible because like i used to say earlier um we are in a country where there is so much hatred no love and if this has failed to um if you're afraid to come to terms with each other i think the best option is a split yes if you can't come to terms with each other a forced unity doesn't work. It breeds more hatred, wickedness. So if a split will work, and I believe um, in the case of a split, it's not only the southern region that will develop, the north will develop almost equally. What do you think? Add your comment as we round up. Bandits abduct four in Zamfara demand new Naira notes as ransom. Bandits have abducted four people in the Kolo village of Goso local government area in Zamfara state and refused to collect old Naira notes as ransom. According to a report by Channels TV, the bandits earlier demanded 10 million Naira as ransom but after the negotiation, they agreed to collect 5 million Naira. Sources from the area also said that as the villagers were trying to get the money through communal efforts, the abductors sent a message on Tuesday that they would not release the kidnapped victims until the release of the new Naira notes by the Central Bank of Nigeria. As we were trying to gather the money demanded by the terrorists, they sent another message that they would not collect old Naira notes. The source said, they said that they would keep the abducted persons in their camps until next month, December, when the new Naira notes would be in circulation. Police authorities in Zamfara State are yet to comment on these latest abductions as efforts to reach the spokesperson 
proves abortive. Everybody is becoming wise, oh, everybody. Um, as the government adopts new measures um, to curb banditry and the kidnappings and the rest, uh, the bandits are also moving with time. They are also growing. They are also devising means. Can you imagine? They said they will keep those people they abducted until the change of the new Naira note is fully effected. The, um, recently, we had they are started rejecting old Naira notes, and I think this is part of the reason. Uh, this security reasons is part of the reasons why the government decided to change the Naira notes. So the bandits too are becoming wiser. Um, a proverb in Igbo says, "Ano motebo koso dinta motebo kebe." They are now demanding new naira notes, and they will they will be patient and wait for at the time it will be unveiled fully in the country, so that um, the relatives of their victims will source for fund in new naira notes and send to them. And you know these bandits they don't accept um transfers <laughs> bank transfers because they will easily be caught